Hello Leo. Welcome to your love reading for June 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium and I read tarot intuitively. For those who are returning, thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. I will leave all my information below for a personal reading, okay? So um, as I started your reading and recording, I actually instantly grabbed my, um, my green calcite, my heart energy uh, chakra here. I'm sorry, my heart energy um, stone for the heart center. And it was funny that I did that because it was like almost like intuitively, right? I feel that definitely June is a time, is a time for you guys to rise and elevate your heart energy. Um, and this is about shedding old ego, ego reactions, ego impulses, okay? So a big theme for you this month the beginning of June intuitively I feel it is about your state of love are you loving from a state of whole are you loving from a state of scarcity of poverty of what what is your inner state okay of of living in terms of love are you opening your heart in a way where you are non-judgmental or are you judging so this is about self evaluation in terms of love okay Leo so June 1st through the 15th. So instantly I heard the, the word escapism. What are you running from, Leo? The beginning of the month, especially with Gemini season, there's a need to... There's going to be a desire. One of the reasons why I noticed I said a lot of self-reflection is because you're going to want to live in your head, okay? For some of you guys, this is a good thing because you're going to give yourself an opportunity to truly awaken parts of yourself that have been stagnant and sleeping. Like you're awakening your self-awareness. You're awakening a, like an inner state of like, whoa like it's clicking your intuition you're finally like feeling all the elements all your senses when it comes to your love life and i see a lot of you guys growing in terms of love there's a huge huge enormous amount of abundance here that i'm feeling for june 1st through the 15th but again what are you escaping what are you trying to escape I have my Leos who I'm sensing are really focused on the self-awareness. Like you're listening to your inner guidance. You're listening and paying attention on a very energetic level. But others of you, I feel like there's a need to escape. But what are you escaping? Are you escaping your mind? Do you feel like, you know, your mind's playing tricks on you? They're, look, the cards are all over the place. So definitely triggers. Triggers. Okay? You're getting triggered this month. There is someone that you still want. This is still lingering from the end of May into May. You have such same person. I don't know who this is, but they're always in here. Um, starts with an R. You want this person so bad. Okay. Um, there is a deep, deep, deep attachment, deep connection. This is definitely a karmic situation. This is a soul contract that you need. You need to find peace within surrendering, okay? But there, it's like you're, you're kind of, you know, I'm having a vision of like you're roaming, you're roaming alone, you're roaming, you're trying to find yourself, you're trying to find this person you're trying to find other people you're trying to so there's there's kind of a bit of a confused like you're starting off the week of june a little confused right like a part of you wants to leave this person behind and i really see the action towards that what did i just say stop what did i just say I, my intuition what did i just say you guys are so stuck in escapism like lord okay this is what happens when I meditate. Shit is just on point, okay? When it comes to love, 
there is a sense of confusion and also there's going to be strong temptations of escaping escaping the truth escaping what you know escaping what you need to release you're being tempted this month june 1st through the 15th you're being tempted to hold on to situations that you know you don't need to hold on to because they're causing you more pain than anything else. You're tempted to obsess and escape the things that you need to face. This is your shadow work, okay? You may be faced with wanting to indulge and escape the reality that your relationship, your marriage is over. You may be holding on, again, codependently to a marriage that is no longer serving you. And in turn, you're self-sabotaging, self-destructing. Because when a Leo is trapped because of your loyalty, your loyalty to your clan, your loyalty to your tribe, your loyalty to your reputation, especially in matters of love, not just career, you tend to fixate on the things that you cannot control, so you stay. So you stay stagnant. Okay? So the, the beginning of June is going to be a moment of revelation. You know you are in this energy. You know that in matters of love, You may be tempted to do things that are out of they're they're out of they're out of your actual values. You're being led astray by energies that are making you want to react outside of your values. Anything relating cheating, an affair, excessive indulgen, indulgences, anything that honestly it's going to cause a lot of chaos when it comes to your own sense of morality. You're being heavily tempted right now. For whatever reason, we'll see. But it's like, it's it's your, your rebellion. I'm going to name this video that. It's your rebellion. You're rebelling. Your heart, your heart hurts. Okay? Your heart hurts. And you're tired. I feel like you're just tired. You're tired of of holding a very high standard of this is the love that I deserve. And, and you feel like the universe isn't matching that. Okay? So, and it's not that you don't deserve it, Leo. You deserve everything. You deserve. You deserve a love that will love you in return. You deserve a love that will not keep you bound. You deserve a love that you don't have to stay and and tolerate abuse or tolerate verbal abuse or physical abuse for the sake of just staying for money for stability because you're, you're not going to have it okay if you think you're staying for the sake of stability in your marriage for those of you who are married you're not going to have it assets are being split this is in reverse what you're doing is you're holding on to more pain Leo, what did I just say? You stay, the more you increase your state of inner poverty. Watch your finances this month, okay? You may be tempted to want to spend. You're overly focused on material wealth, material gain, but instead it's it, the energy is focused in such a way where it's creating a negative it's creating a negative vibe. But in matters of love, I feel like you're feeling left out. Someone is feeling left out. There's a divorce happening. There's a lot of lower vibrating energy surrounding you and love right now. But I really think it's because you're trying to maintain. You're trying to save face. You're trying to maintain a relationship that is no longer serving you. So you are holding on and it's causing you to like a distressed state of being. You're not happy. Okay. Opportunities for Leo and love. You have a Libra, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in the reverse. 
either coming in or they're already in your life. Opportunities and love. If you have been waiting for this person in an addictive way, like you're latching on, you're latching on to this person as a way out of your current partnership, as a way out of your poverty, as a way out, this person is not going to save you. This person is in denial themselves. They're not a true king of swords. They're in reverse. You can't even trust their word. This person will leave you high and dry. So just know that, okay? Don't trust too much on on words and the charm. People are not living up to their... People here are not living up to what they're saying that they're going to do or who they are. There's a lot of moon energy here around this. So what opportunities does Leo have in love? I do see someone coming in with a candle, a beautiful white candle lit for you. So they're trying to hold this candle while you're navigating this darkness, this dark time. I'm looking over because as I'm talking, my candle is really, really, really like increasing in energy as I'm saying this. Um, this person is holding on to this candle, illuminating your path while you're navigating. Please, if you as an opportunity, the opportunity is to ghost Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this person, strong Gemini energy, they're lying. They are manipulative. They're going to mind fuck you. Like this person is coming in and they are out. They're out of their mind. They are not in their, they're, they are not in alignment. And you are in a state of vulnerability, so be careful because this person is coming in saying that they want this and that with you. They're selling you a dream, okay? So as an opportunity, this new person, as I was saying, this new person is coming in. Yep, again, false dreams and hopes. This new person is coming in and they, they're holding a candle illuminating any dark areas because you're surrounded right now you're trying to navigate what it is that you want like you're trying to navigate yourself out of this darkness and this person is offering you a moment of illumination okay and I feel like this person is very tender this person is definitely someone who is very caring they come from the heart this is a strong cancer energy okay strong cancer Scorpio Pisces energy they're illuminating for you when you can't see for yourself. They're holding out a candle and they're holding your hands. This person is like an angel to you. This person is someone either you know or they're new. Cancer, sun, moon, or rising. Opportunities and love. Again, air sign energy, this person is has a third party situation. So if you're thinking about letting them back in, don't do it. Please listen to your intuition. This is not the time to, to block. You have the moon energy. There is there's definitely self decept there's deception. Not only deception of the people around you, but self deception. You're you're trying to kind of you're, you're looking the other way in hopes that this person is being honest. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini energy. They're not. They're not. Okay. This is about you trusting your instincts. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Don't, don't look away, Leo. Don't look away at the truth. Okay. Cards are just jumping out. Five of swords. This person again. You or this person. A lot of ego vibes. Let it go. Let it go. This air sign is not a bad person. They're an unhealed person. They are bringing their trauma back into your life. You don't need it. You don't need it. Blocked energy, Leo, in matters of love. As I said that, it's 1444. 1444. Blocked energies in love. Yeah, I mean, there's a strong sadness here. 
Um, I'm having a vision that you are in the sand and you're kind of drawing with your finger a swirl, like a big swirl which means that you're tired of kind of spiraling down, like you're spiraling. Um, I feel like with love, you may be feeling a little defeated because you feel like you're constantly faced with opposition. Um, I feel like you're afraid to give yourself this month, especially with whoever's coming back into your life, this ex, okay? You're scared to give yourself again. What's blocking you? Balance, okay? Um, this is about allowing yourself to go through things that are not, that you know are not fair to you. Like being cheated on and staying, being abused and staying, staying when you're unhappy. This is about, the blockage here is about you are not bringing justice into your own life, into your own situation. You're not bring justice by standing your ground. I feel like you kind of let things happen and then they happen and then they make you more jaded or they close your heart. If only you stood your ground from the beginning, right? It's about catching it. You guys have such a big heart. You have such a big space for love. But this is also kind of like, I'm seeing these cards, Leo, and they feel like a big battleground like there's a war here of a lot of ego a lot of unfair behavior from other people to you so what's blocking you justice in reverse um you're not really happy inside okay you're not really happy inside a lot of family stuff or you just feel like you're not really looking at life and you know the glass is isn't full you're looking at the lack, right? Perspective. And also, I feel like some of you guys are just kind of going through a very karmic time. So you need to kind of shake. So, I'm sorry, not shake that off. But you need to kind of um, release and surrender into the lesson so you can move forward in terms of love. What's blocking you is the temptation of a water sign as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, young energy, very young, night, but he is coming in with empty promises, okay? Um, this person is in one minute next. They don't even know what they're feeling. They're not coming in being honest because they don't know how to be honest with themselves, okay? So don't hold your breath too much when it comes to that person. So what about the Leos who have no ex, no past, and want to know what's going on in their love life, June 1st through the 15th? Some of you guys are, um, you're going to meet someone who has a very prestigious um, status. This person is in the music industry. They're a DJ, they're a rapper, or they're in the scene. Okay, Leo? You may be initially, initially I see a strong, um, this is a Capricorn energy, sun, moon, or rising. Virgo can be Taurus. Um, Virgo for sure, sun, moon, or rising. Um, I'm trying to get one more sign because I feel like there's more than that. I feel like this person is a Libra, okay? But you're going to be enticed and kind of interested, and it's going to pique your interest, in, your interest that they're so smooth, they're so suave, they're charming. Um, this person is in the limelight. They're kind of famous, like they really have like their music stuff going. Everything that glitters isn't gold, right? So assess the situation because this isn't so much about this new person. You're still dragging your old baggage into this, okay? And I see that this person is definitely someone who's going to wine and dine you. They're going to charm you. They're going to la, 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 la. They're in that life. They're really all about you, okay? But I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying take it slow because this person is also holding on to a relationship 
long distance that they need to cut ties. I see them cutting ties. It's going to take some time. But you, Leo, don't jump into anything. The outcome card, June 1st through the 15th, is your own death and rebirth, metaphorically. Okay? You are in matters of love. You've reached your capacity. You're ready for a new dawn. You're ready for a new day. Okay? You can no longer go back to the past. There is no room for the past here. One more card. Outcome, Leo. So whoever this Libra creative musically inclined person is take it slow because you have huge transition energies death hermit the ten of swords this is about you this is about ending this is about letting the old shit die completely there's no room for it you're in like monk mode you're in monk mode let it let it go this is going to be about your phoenix rise and your awakening. Okay, Leo? Thank you so much. Please take it slow with this new energy coming in. It's not awful. It's okay. But just hold your composure and, and really test it out before you dive in. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye.